Greetings, my name is Dave Crusoe. I focus on youth digital engagement here at Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Hi, I'm Abby Fiddler. I'm also on our digital youth engagement team here at BGCA. We're here to tell you today about the Computer Science Pathway, which is a way for young people to get engaged in computer science. Over the past year, we've been working closely with Symantec to pilot our Computer Science Pathway with 15 clubs. It's a way to engage kids in the beginnings of computer science and then take them on a learning journey to help them build expertise. Abby, why would we be interested in computer science? Computer science is not only hugely important for future career options and getting members involved in STEM, but it's also a great way to teach your members collaboration and how to deal with trial and error. That's absolutely right. To help it impact clubs, what we've done is to create four programmatic spaces that clubs can integrate into their operation, their program operation specifically, to help youth get their start and then develop that expertise. The first is code.org and the Hour of Code. Some of you may have heard of that. The second is CS Unplugged. The third is CS First. The fourth and final is App Lab. So Abby, could you tell us a bit about Hour of Code and code.org? Sure, Hour of Code is meant to be our entry point such that any member, any club, anywhere can participate and have a great time. The Hour of Code is meant to teach the basics of coding and a lot of the concepts around it in under an hour. So anybody can try it and anybody can succeed. That's absolutely great. What about um, CS Unplugged? CS Unplugged is more of a step towards concept building. So those activities can all be done with or without a computer lab so that you can do them anywhere in your building with members of any age, but still be teaching principles of computer science and build concept awareness for moving into further program areas. Now, CS First is a little more complex. It takes more time. It's a block-based system built by the group at MIT. The system is called Scratch. The curriculum specifically exists around that Scratch environment, but requires something like eight to nine sessions to implement with club. It's aimed squarely at a middle school audience. So middle school youth love it because they get to build games, they get to build interactive postcards and other media. So it's fantastic for that group. But as you can tell, it really ladders upon what Code.org and CS Unplug have built already. The fourth and final program in that pathway is called App Lab, and because Abby, in fact, wrote and built that program, I'd love to ask her to describe it. Sure. So App Lab was actually built with a lot of partners and uses MIT's App Inventor platform to help members create and develop their own Android applications. Those applications can be tested on tablets, on Android phones, or using an emulator on any PC. That program helps members go through processes of design, go through the process of coding and creating a prototype, and helps them learn to express those ideas by presenting their concept to an audience. So rather than listen to a bunch of adults, that's us, talk about these programs, we'd actually like to show you what young people have to say about these programs. They do say great things. The, the most rewarding thing is the fact that we um, are getting something done. You know, it's like, it's like, wow, pat on the back. I mean, we are getting something done for computer science. To do like the projects, like for example, like on Scratch, and like we get to um, share them, especially the fashion and um, fashion design, the purple card and the game design also. Once I finish this, I will try and get a class in computer programming in my next school. My favorite part of the hour of code is my just get on computer and play their game, the games on the hour of code. If you ever like need a job and you know that, you could apply for like college and so then you would be able to get a job in you bring it here. And then you go into the motion and put this over here. And that is your first step into making this chase the other avatar. Um, I would tell them to try this out. It's really fun and it's not hard at all. So now that you've heard it from young people, the logical question is, what's next? What does one do? So the best first place to go is the STEM Activation Guide. Some of you may have received that in the mail or heard of it. It can be accessed at bgca.net forward slash STEM. Again, bgca.net forward slash STEM. Now within that guide, you'll find a variety of materials. Abby, what might those materials be? Sure, the STEM guide not only has information about our computer science programs, but our whole portfolio of STEM programs, in addition to information about how you can get the most out of your staff, your space, 
and do some self-assessment to see where along this pathway you'll find your best start. Now the next thing to know is if you do have questions, you are welcome to contact us. Our email address is myfuture, M-Y-F-U-T-U-R-E, at bgca.org. Again, myfuture at bgca.org. And in closing, the final item is that we really do appreciate semantic support for the piloting of the computer science pathway. By piloting that pathway, we ground truth our work against the uh, experiences of the club to make sure it works beautifully. What we know is it works beautifully. So go forth and do computer science. And have fun.